Welcome to the Star, I'm Remagin. Today we're gonna talk about USA in 2021 with Flipper. Let's go! Flipper, tell me what's going on with USA in 2021. I mean, with your country. Yes, people are very celebratory right now. They're celebrating a lot because an embarrassment has been voted out of the office of president. <laughs> <laughs> yes. Okay. Uh, which is about oh, that's, that's, that's yes, and that's like the main thing that's going to change. That there is not going to be an embarrassment going on TV every day, making a mm. fool of himself and a fool of the country and everything, which is cool and all. Uh, and beyond that, though, there's there. I don't really think there's much is going to change at all. <laughs> I think we're, if anything, we're, mm. we're going to go back to how it was. Uh, you know, four, four or five years ago, and we're just gonna ride that wave like we have been. Except now we'll be able to say like, oh, now we have a female vice president and a black vice president, and it's really great, and people will be really happy about that. Um, <laughs> yeah, but beyond that, though, it's really, it's really nothing. Really, is going to change at all mm. here, at least from what I can tell. And uh, you know the the first actually funny things that <laughs> the first uh, uh, decree the, is it called decree in USA the first decree that he signed mm -hmm. <laughs> the first one was uh, uh, stop the emergency plan for building the wall in Mexico and right. the second one was um, uh, let's make everybody wear the mask mandatory mandatory for yes. all the offices and stuff so yeah. And other stuff like rejoin the Paris Accord Agreement <laughs> because you know yes. Trump left it because he doesn't believe in science and the world is the, the global right. warming, so he rejoined <laughs> it again. Yes. And uh, and all other stuff. So he actually reversed all the things that Trump did during the four mm -hmm. years. Yep. So I say, right, go back to how stopped, things were. He stopped from you, you using uh, paying the loans for your student debt. And I heard yeah, he was going to do that. Did, <laughs> did he do he that? Did he did yeah, it? Yeah, he signed it. I saw it. I read it. Oh, wow. Okay. Well, that's a surprise. That's cool. <laughs> he didn't remove it, but he posted, he says. Oh, he posted. Oh, he's talking about it? No, no. He already signed. He posted the loan for the student debts. Okay. Well, but the moment, I hope you, that... you don't have to pay. Yeah, that'd be cool if it goes through. Oh, yeah, at the moment, yeah, yeah. Well, that's been going on for a while. I've had to pay all year for my student loans and stuff. But oh. be, besides that, uh, it just I mean, like I said, it's just going back to how things were in the Obama administration. And it's going to maintain the status quo that we've had going this whole time. It is not. <laughs> People think that all of America's problems are going to go away now that he is president and now that Trump's out of office. Yeah, but at least a few things, yes, I guess. A few things, yes, um, which would be good. And I'm very glad that we have the federal mask mandate now, though. I, for I forgot about that, so I'm glad you brought that up um, because mm -hmm. there are lots of parts. Like, I live in what's called a red state, <laughs> and it is very normal for people to just not wear masks at all in public. And, if you and not only that, but if, you if they see you in public wearing a mask, they will openly make fun of you or talk trash on you, or in my case, one time I had somebody in a gas station bathroom try to fight me because I walked in wearing a mask. <laughs> and uh, mm -hmm. it was he was like, hey, you know, I can't wait till this election's over and we can stop wearing this stupid mask bullshit, huh? And I'm just like literally sitting on a toilet <laughs> <laughs> not wanting to talk. I'm like, what are you? Mm -hmm. What is your problem? You know, I'm like, uh, yeah, man, uh, go away, please. <laughs> but that's, but that, but that's, just, that's the kind of person that would vote for Trump, and that is a much higher percentage of people in the country than I thought there was. You know what I mean? Uh, like the people, I don't hang out with those kinds of people normally, so I'm, I never see them. But there are so many of those types of people that they voted Trump in and then almost got him reelected in, uh, which is just blowing my mind. Like after, that, after the past four years, those people were like, hey, I need more of that. Give me more of <laughs> whatever you've been doing, which is just, mm -hmm. 
crazy to me. Uh, I don't. I mean, I, I literally don't understand it. Uh, so that's that's one thing. To, it's definitely a good thing that he got voted out. It's a good thing that Biden is president, and for that, I am glad. That's great. Um, mm. If if anything, just to get rid of the the embarrassment, like I said. Uh, uh, but beyond that, I really don't. <laughs> we'll see. We will see. He could surprise me. Biden could surprise me. I hope he does. That'd be pretty cool. Hmm. Hmm. Yes. Yeah. And um, what else? Hmm. So yeah. So and what do you think about uh, big tech companies banning people from inciting violence? Or, I don't know. But, but just think about just the policy of banning someone for saying, from saying something. What do you think about that? Banning someone? Like, like, like Twitter? Like yeah, like banning... Twitter, Facebook. Yeah. Well, it's, it's not just, well, <laughs> big tech companies, they can do whatever they want to do. Uh, it, it's, you know, it, it, it's like banning someone from your medium is the same as banning someone from your, your private property. It's something you're, it's allowed to happen. Uh, which is great and all because otherwise you'd have lunatics coming in and ruining everything. Like at, uh, mm. like at my work, if people come in without a mask and start saying insulting people that do have a mask on, we are, is my job to tell them to leave, to get out, you know, uh, because mm. <laughs> it's just, it doesn't matter what they say. It's a private property. It, it, it's not an infringement on their rights. It looks like it's not an infringement on anyone's rights for, to ban them from Twitter or VR chat or Facebook or anything. We were not born with a right mm. to have a Twitter account, you know? <laughs> Mm. We weren't born with the we weren't born with the right to you know go on Facebook and spout nonsense and incite violence or propagate yeah. mass death by by saying that oh yeah no COVID's a hoax don't wear a mask uh, and I yeah I, I just can't be- <laughs> I just can't believe that, pe- that like I've seen people a guy like you and me a guy like you and me he would go up on a stage. And he's like a, a comedian normally. So he'd get up there to tell jokes and he'd get up there and say, like, oh, yeah, I think COVID's a hoax, just so you guys all know. And it's, and I, I don't know. It, it's uh, <laughs> like that kind of person. I don't know. In real life, he wouldn't get banned or anything. But eventually, if he kept saying that over and over and over and over on Twitter to the point where hundreds of thousands of deaths happened, more than other any other country in the world, then yeah, you should probably get him off of Twitter because he's he's uh he's propagating mass death. So I think that can only be a good thing to get that off of the uh, off of your platform. You know? Mm. Yeah. Yeah, that, that's, I agree with that too. Yeah. Yes. How can we improve democracy? That's just like. <laughs> I don't know. I mean, because democracy, the whole idea of it is that the people choose. And if the people are going to choose to kill themselves in droves, <laughs> then it makes you sit and wonder, was was democracy a mistake? Was it? <laughs> uh, which is outlandish to say uh, for, you know, to most people, because, I mean, especially the patriots, the proud people who are very... My country is the best. We're amazing, and God bless America. And we have our freedoms. We're all my freedoms. We're all so free. If you try and tell them, no, democracy was a mistake. Which you're, which, which, <laughs> if we continue with democracy, you're going to vote to have us all killed. Apparently, literally, was going to happen. Uh, if you tell them that that because of that they're not allowed to vote anymore, they're going to flip out. That's how you would get a civil war. So how you want to improve upon it? Uh, I'm not sure. I don't know how you would improve upon democracy. <laughs> mm. um, I think it's I think it's naturally improving because uh, apparently enough people on the right side decided, hey, we don't want that guy to come here again. They changed to Biden. So maybe. And a lot, of people, a lot of people said this four years ago, but Trump getting elected was a, could have been a, seen as a good thing because it's like a wake-up call uh, to not near as many people as we thought it was going to wake up, but it woke up enough people to get him out of office, I guess, which is kind of scary because if, if Biden doesn't do a great job in office, 
that's just going to give the the right side more fuel to that fire to elect whoever else they want. It could be Trump again in 2024 because he already said he's going to run again. But I really don't think he's going to get the nomination, even if he does, because he's <laughs> he's damaged the Republican Party uh, a whole bunch these past four years. Um, so yeah, <laughs> democracy I don't think can be improved upon. Uh, if anything, we should get rid of it because uh, we've reached a point where what else can, what else should we do? But I really don't think it's going to happen. I think it's literally impossible at this point. With too many people with too many guns out there that are going to stand up for their freedoms and their rights to kill themselves and all their entire family and everyone else in the country. Thank you, Flip, for your wise advice and wise notions about what's not going to happen, what's happening in USA this year. And I actually learned many things from you today. That today is Masamurai's birthday. January 22nd. Yes. Happy birthday. <laughs> Happy birthday to you. Yes. <laughs> yeah, this is a good conversation. It's worth leaving a party to go talk about this with me. I appreciate that. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, Actually, yeah, we should go back to the party. Yeah, we should. Yes, uh, I agree with my samurai. Today we're gonna talk about COVID in Sweden with the Nia. I think in worst case scenario is that. Thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you like it, please give us a comment and subscribe our channel. See you in next video.